You vote for it, and here it is. Coonhounds are mean or large-sized dogs who are deeply rooted in the history of the southern states. As implied by their name, these dogs are primarily trained to pursue raccoons. And the first breed of coonhound that we'll talk about is the American English coonhound. During the colonial period of the United States, hounds were imported into the states for the then popular sport of fox hunting. While it's true that foxhounds were good at pursuing foxes, that was only one kind of quarry found in this new frontier. Many of these new animals took to the trees to escape the dogs. Opossums, bobcats, mountain lions, black bears, and of course raccoons. The foxhounds would get confused when pursuing these animals. When they would hide up in a tree, the foxhounds would lose the scent and mill about. This was, a, this was a problem not only for those who wanted to hunt these animals for sport, but also those who relied on them for food and their pelts for warmth. A new kind of hunter was needed to pursue these elusive creatures. Some of the same men who imported the foxhounds would begin breeding dogs who were more suited for the desired task. These men included Robert Brooke, Thomas Walker, and the father of our country, President George Washington. They used many different hounds breeds and ended up giving rise to several different coonhound breeds, but the first of these was the American English coonhound. The American English coonhound is also known as the just the English coonhound or the red tick coonhound. I will be referring to them as the red tick coonhound for the rest of the video because the American, because American English coonhound is kind of a mouthful. What's unique about this breed compared to other coonhound breeds is that they can come in more than one color. Black and tan coonhounds come in black and tan. Blue tick coonhounds are blue ticked. Red bone coonhounds are red. Treeing walker coonhounds have the classic hound tri-coloring, but the red tick coonhounds are red ticked, blue ticked, tri-color, red and white, or white and black. Some of the previously mentioned coonhound breeds uh, would splinter off of them, but we'll talk more about that in our time. The red tick coonhound is a fast, hot-nosed tracker, meaning that they excel at tracking fresh scents. A cold-nosed tracker means that the dog is good at tracking older scents. Traditionally, the red tick coonhound was used to tree raccoons at night and track foxes by day. Like other coonhounds, they chase a, the raccoon up a tree and then utter a melodic bay to notify the hunters that the raccoon has been treed. The United Kennel Club recognized this breed in 1905 as the English Fox and Coonhound. They weren't fully recognized by the AKC until 2011, but the descendants of the Red Tick Coonhound were recognized years before. They are quite popular with coon hunters. Some even say if they couldn't use a red tick coonhound, they would give up hunting. The red tick coonhound is considered the fastest of the coonhound breeds. They are quite healthy with some only with some only some concern for um, hip dysplasia, bloat, ear infections, and progressive retinal atrophy. The red tick coonhound has a life expectancy of 11 to 12 years, but they can live longer. Coon hunting can be very dangerous for the dogs because of how clever raccoons are. They can also carry rabies, so it's important to train your hunting dog to control its impulses. A good coonhound should only keep an animal from escaping until its handler arrives. They shouldn't attack or harm its quarry. Males are 24 to 26 inches at the withers, and females are 23 to 25 inches at the withers. Red tick coonhounds can weigh between 45 to 65 pounds. Coonhounds generally don't do well in apartments. They need space to run around and they can sometimes howl when they feel excited or worked up so your neighbors might not appreciate that. Red tick coonhounds can be good with kids if raised properly and they can also do great with other dogs. However, because of their strong prey drives, they wouldn't do well living with small animals. Remember earlier when I was talking about how they tree raccoons? Imagine that, but they're treeing your cat up to the top of the bookshelf. Red tick coonhounds can do well with meeting new people if raised properly socialized. I've heard a few stories of these dogs saving their family members from strangers who wish to harm them by growling and putting on a threat display. This protectiveness isn't a breed trait, it's just something I've heard a few individuals doing. I just thought I'd mention that they have an average level of protectiveness and openness to strangers. Red tick coonhounds might not be the best dog for the first time owner because of their prey drive. If they get fixated on something, they can be less responsive and difficult to manage. 
It takes patient and, cons and consistent training. A good reinforcer while training may be the opportun opportunity to um, smell the environment or, or, they, or you could use treats, especially if they have a strong odor. So when I bring a red tick coon hound to my family, I'm leaning towards no, but I may change my mind. I'm not worried about their scent drive because of the experience I have. I have a, uh, I had a uh, beagle when I was a child and Lola is a retired explosive detection dog. My concern is regarding their energy level and prey drive. Without meeting one, I'm unsure of how, how much sm stimulation they require and if I'm able to provide for all their needs. I don't hunt either. That's not a requirement for one of these dogs, but it's their ideal outlet. I also want to observe their prey drive firsthand if they, what they say about their fixation is true. Those qualities are necessary for hunting, so they deserve the admiration that they receive from coon, hunt, coon hunters. My next video will be about the Blue Tech Coon Hound. Let me know if there are any dog related topics you'd like for me to discuss. Please subscribe and share with someone who would enjoy this video. If you have any experience with the Red Tick Coon Hound, let me know in the comments. Have a great day, and your cat probably doesn't want you to be want to be treated up a bookshelf.